Around two years ago, while on our way home, we saw a big chicken farm. When we got to the gate, there was a dog who started barking, and then before we know it, the whole family was there, and we started talking to them, and they were quite friendly. And this facility was actually going to send all the chickens to slaughter just in a few days. And I told him, do you mind giving me one chicken? I explained to him that I actually want to take care of the chicken and I'm willing to also send photos and updates and he agreed and went to the back and came back holding a chicken in his hand. Now I also went in and I took some photos and everything. There was one side with all the dead and sick chickens thrown around. So I went back to the bike, we had a tote bag, put the chicken inside and started driving home. Now the reason why I decided to call the chicken Lola, even though later on we found out it was actually a male chicken, is because the same week our friends had lost the dog and we thought we can name the chicken after their dog. We got home and we took Lola out of the tote bag and for the first time he was able to walk on grass. He acted so weird he couldn't really understand what it was and over the next few days he always followed me everywhere. It was very cute. Even when I was cooking he would come and sit next to my feet. And I realized that actually chickens are very very social animals. Luckily other friends of ours managed to rescue another chicken and they started living together. And uh, one of their favorite things was when I came with food, especially watermelon. And they would go crazy about watermelon and you really start realizing how different they are he was very physical always wanted to be with someone feeling loved you know spending time with them sometimes he would be in my office when i'm working i've even done a podcast with him just sitting on a table right in front of me all of my friends started coming over hanging out spending time with lola and he became this kind of small famous individual that i would constantly talk about on my instagram he's just one of a kind and sometimes, of course, we had some complications with his health, so we had to call a vet who would come and, and check what's going on, because we have to keep in mind, again, it's this breed that is basically manipulated in order to get as much meat, as much flesh that you can um, out of their bodies. Now, one day a friend of mine was visiting me and when he was leaving, I went out with him and I looked into the shed and I saw Lola just completely collapse on the floor. So I ran in there and I immediately contacted the vet and they all told me he's living his last moments. The only thing you can do and that we advise you to do is spend time with him, give him the most love you can. <gasps> And unfortunately, he did pass away, and I buried him in the garden with some flowers. It may sound funny for someone who's never spent time with a chicken. They have personalities, and ever since then, I've thought so much about what we're doing to other animals. I actually had many people go vegan because of Lola's story, because of them finally having the realization that, wow, like, these are individuals with different personalities, you know. A bit more than a month ago we were driving home and we came across <laughs> this beautiful individual. Her name is Lola and she is named after our chicken Lola. When we found her she was starving, she had scabies. Now as you can see she's full of fur and she's beautiful and she jumps around and she plays. She reminds me how even though the species are different, there isn't much difference between a dog and a chicken and a human when it comes to how we perceive pain and the fact that we suffer and the fact that we want to have safety and freedom and happiness.